Il me parle d'un cheval, il me parle de cheval, je vois la vie heureuse. Il me dit de mon amour, de mon bouleversion, de ton fait quelque chose. So a lot of you have been asking for this video. So with that being said, I'm just going to start with tonight's skin routine. Um, I didn't wear any makeup today, so I have nothing to take off. I'm just going to hop in the shower to like open my pores, wash my body, and then we're going to do a mud mask. The mask I'm using is a clarifying mud mask from Shea Moisture. If I use this mask, I won't use a cleanser because it's rather stripping. I use the vitamin C serum every day, twice a day. Vitamin C is an antioxidant that brightens the skin. The only thing that you need to know about vitamin C is that it does oxidize quickly, so you need to use it quickly after you open it. Next is moisturizer. This is the Omega Plus Complex Moisturizer by Paula's Choice. It's formulated with shea butter and omega oils, which target signs of stress and irritation. Then I use a face oil. I personally love rosehip oil. I use it around the parts of my skin that need a little extra TLC, like my eyes, my nose, and my forehead. For cleanser, I'm in the middle of a Mario Badescu enzyme cleansing gel. I really don't recommend their products because they use so much fragrance, but I have no beef with this gel. I think it's pretty gentle for winter. Here I have two small zits I see forming on my face. They look and feel normal. I'm just going to give them a little extra TLC. Vitamin C. Since I have these two breakouts, I'm going to use my Curology system, the moisturizer, and this part might be overkill, but I'm going to use a drying lotion as well. Again, I don't recommend Mario Badescu products but the drying lotion is all right when used sparingly. Egyptian Magic is an all-purpose non-greasy blend of natural ingredients. It's antibacterial and contains no toxin and I use it on my eyes and lips. Day 3. When I wear makeup, I double cleanse using micellar water. It's fragrance free and I use my fingers to gently rub away my mascara. I know it looks like I'm being rough but I promise I'm being as gentle as I can. I like using micellar water because it's gentle and highly effective and it's also better for the environment because you're not polluting the earth by using makeup wipes. Since those two zits are still pretty agitated, I'm extracting the pores with two q-tips. I find this technique to actually work without breaking the skin. Next, vitamin C followed by moisturizer and some rosehip oil around my eyes and the spot treatment. The reason I prefer a spot treatment over using Curology in the winter is because it's actually less drying since I'm using it only in targeted areas. On day four, I wash my face, really feeling each pore and communicating love and positivity into my skin because she's feeling a little hormonal and that's okay. She's telling me she wants Curology, so that's what I'm gonna give her. Follow it up with some moisturizer on the eyes and neck and it's all simple steps today. Day five, double cleanse. Really gotta get that eye makeup off. I don't know how to do this gently like I, I don't know <laughs> this is my favorite product from the ordinary I use this once a week sometimes twice it's the 30% AHA plus 2% BHA peeling solution it gently and evenly exfoliates the outer layers of skin and the salicylic acid exfoliates the inside of the pores I leave it on for 10 minutes and it immediately smooths my skin texture and I look radiant I followed up with vitamin C and using this eye cream by Darfin because I ran out of Egyptian magic and this was on sale for like five bucks. Followed by moisturizer and tonight I'm going to be using my gua sha to help with lymphatic drainage. It depuffs the face. A gua sha is a natural alternative therapy that involves scraping your skin. Mine is a jade stone. It's supposed to improve your circulation to stimulate microcirculation of the soft tissue which increases blood flow. Day 6. By now we know the drill, double cleanse, vitamin C, moisturizer, eye cream. Day seven is pretty much the same like day six, double cleanse, vitamin C, moisturizer, eye cream. It's pretty much the same except I'm using this dream balm to enhance my sleeping and open up my third eye. On day eight, we're not doing anything we haven't already seen before, except I'm adding a little bit of rose water. The reason why I wanted to show you guys my nighttime routine is because I wanted to show that every night is different because my skin is never the same two nights in a row, and that is obviously reflective in this routine. And that's what keeps it fun, because I like adding new products like this dream balm that opens up my third eye. It's really cool. Good mornings.
So the first thing I do when I wake up is splash my face with cold water. I don't wash my face with soap because I feel like it's just too stripping. I spray a mixture of rose water and glycerin on my face directly afterwards and then I make breakfast. Every morning I have a scoop of raw beauty superfood powder, a couple milligrams of chlorophyll, and some vegan protein. In my coffee, I'll do a scoop of collagen creamer because I have a bad knee, but I found that it definitely helps with my complexion as well. This is how I start my morning every day, and since I've started doing this, I think it's something about the probiotics and the superfood that just definitely helps me glow from the inside out. So after I eat breakfast, I usually work out, then take a shower, then it's time to prep my face. I didn't wash my face, but I feel like I could definitely exfoliate, so I'm gonna use some of the ordinary exfoliator BHAs and AHAs. Leave that on for 10 minutes, wash my face, and I'm seriously glowing like just look at that glow it's crazy like I said I use vitamin C twice a day I use the gua sha in the morning to depuff and drain my lymphatic system I also find like it helps with just a natural bit of contouring I do another spray of rose water and then around my eyes I'll kind of depuff with this little roller the most important step in my routine for sure is sunscreen. I don't recommend the Mario Badescu sunscreen. Um, instead, I just recently started using this Daily Sheer Babo Botanicals SPF 30. It's a tinted moisturizer and I love it. It has hyaluronic acid in it and it makes you look so dewy and so glowy. It's not the sunscreen that I'm using in this clip, but like I said, I do not recommend the Mario Badescu sunscreen just because it's a chemical sunscreen and it's actually really damaging to the ocean. So just pretend like I'm, I didn't use it at all. And then I put a little extra moisturizer around my eyes and my nose. My favorite chapstick is the Blistex Medicated Ointment. And I forgot to mention this, but every night I use Latisse for my eyelashes. I feel like curling your eyelashes actually makes such a huge difference in making you look more awake. And for my eyebrows, I have really natural long eyebrows. I don't really like to pluck them too much, but to keep them looking sharp, I use a little bit of soap and brush them up. Then I do a physical exfoliation on my lips and line my lips. This is definitely my favorite part of my routine. I feel like even if I have nothing on my face, if I have a little bit of a bold lip i just look so much more done this is the one thing i don't like to look natural i like my lips to be overlined i like the liner to be sharp it's kind of my signature i like a bold lip i use cover effects highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes down the bridge of my nose and on the high points of my face i'm not going to put any more makeup on my skin but i am going to use some of that darfin balm and then just go over that highlighter to make it look a little more melted and a little more glassy I'm going to finish with Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. It just makes you look so dewy. Then I like to throw my hair up in a bun. To me, this look is a very model off-duty, 90s inspired. I'm reluctant to say heroin chic, but with dark circles under my eyes like this, who are we kidding? I actually like working with the dark circles under my eyes. I think they're kind of chic. I know it's a little weird to say, but I'm not. But on a day like today, I like looking natural i like looking a little tired a little exhausted i don't care i don't i'm like not trying to impress anyone i just want my skin to do its thing for my hair i'm doing a tight polished ballerina bun with slicked back edges i just like this look because it looks really classy really polished and it's super easy to do in the mornings i don't even have to wash my hair and since i didn't feel like i was quite done i'm just gonna go in with an eyebrow gel and accentuate a beauty mark give myself a little bit of a cat eye nothing too obvious just just make myself look a little more polished and fill in this eyebrow just a tad. And that's a completed look. I'm not wearing any products on my skin except for a little bit of highlight. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next video. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, I just want to share my two favorite beauty apps. The first one is called Think Dirty. Think Dirty is a new app with a stated claim to help consumers learn more about the potential hazards of product ingredients and to compare brands. They have a rating scale. Basically, anything that's in the red is going to be product that you generally want to stay away from. Just check out all of the Mario de Badescu products. They're all in the yellow and in the red versus the sunscreen that I use now, the Babo Botanical Daily Sheer Tinted facial mineral sunscreen that has a rating of zero which is awesome safe to use that's what i want to see and i can definitely vouch for this product 
basically i try to stay away from any products that might be endocrine disruptors as for beautypedia i really like this app because it has super in-depth reviews for their products and these reviews are written by scientists so think dirty might have more on it but beautypedia is going to give you way more information about a specific product which i find really valuable and useful and that's it the reason why i wanted to share these apps with you guys is because i know everyone's skin needs are different and i wanted you guys to feel empowered to do your own research and to cross-reference brands on your time and since neither of these apps are sponsored in this video i was more than happy to share because i genuinely have been using these apps for time now all right i hope you guys found this more than helpful i will see you in the next video ciao Gorgeous. Everything you do makes me nauseous